hello guys and welcome back to another video i am ashley for those of you who are new in today's video i'm just going to be getting ready to run my errands and just going to be discussing dating in my 30s so if you guys are interested keep watching Alrighty guys, so I am, uh, I'm just going to be talking and uh, doing my makeup as I go. So, as you guys know, you know, via my last video that I posted, I am back out here on the market dating. And, um, it's been quite the experience, man. Like, it's been so long since I've actually been out here and um at first it was kind of awkward and weird but like now i think i'm getting used to it getting the hang of like con conversating with people and um at first i was having a problem with it but now i'm starting to relax more and uh, it's been kind of fun so um you know what let me go in with my uh i'm gonna go in with my primer and I'm using the Milk Hydro Primer today. And uh, I'm just going to add just a little bit. But today, yeah, guys, it's been really fun. I've, um, and I said that I didn't think I was ready to date. But I just feel like when you have been in a relationship for a very long time, and you like mourn the relationship while you're in the relationship it makes it a lot easier for you to adjust and move on so i don't have any um you know reserva reservations about uh getting out here and putting myself out there so and i know that i said i wasn't the type of person to like have a roster but for some reason i feel like that's working for me like it's working for me and um okay so for example i am dating or in the talking stage with four different men and yes they all know that i am dating other people i'm not exclusive with anybody i let that be known um i've been completely honest about it so everybody's respecting that just like if they were dating other people it wouldn't bother me as long as they're being honest about it so it's been pretty cool and like um i used to have this thing where i feel like um, I would only date certain people or a certain in a certain age group or a certain um, a certain look or a certain you know but what I figured out for me is to just date them all like because everybody's personality is different you know everybody is different and you never know what you could learn from the next person you know if you give everybody a chance then you know you never know so uh, my first thing is is like I've always I've always went for older men or men who are like my age and up like I've never dated anybody that's been below my age so I recently decided to open up and started starting started exploring that option of the dating world like get somebody they talk to excuse me talk to somebody that's below my age group a lot of men well not a lot but some men can be mature for their age so i've always had it in my mind like you know what if they're younger than me then their mind is immature and blah blah blah, blah. and that's really not the case really not the case now do I have a cutoff for a certain age group? Of course I do. I'm not, uh, I can't see myself talking to somebody that's in their early 20s. Like, I'm 36. I'm almost 40. If you round up, I'm almost 40. So, I don't want to talk to anyone in their early 20s. Like, that's a no-no for me. And the reason why is because I know that and I'm not just dating just to be dating, just to have fun. Like, I'm definitely dating for a purpose. But 
I know that if I got with somebody that's in their early 20s, I can't have any more kids. And uh, I'm not going to rob them of that or any any man in general. Like if, if, if I've had a conversation with them and they want kids, I let them know. I get, hey, I can't have children or any more children. So I don't think it would be a good idea for us to, you know, continue to talk. I don't want to waste anybody's time. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to waste anybody's time because I don't want nobody wasting mine. So I'm going to let you know out the gate, you know, what it is and what it's going to be. So, yeah. Um, In the past couple of weeks, I went on a couple of dates and like these some of these men be doing too much from the very jump and that that tends to turn me off like quick like if you're trying to like physically touch me and I feel like it's inappropriate and when I say inappropriate I mean like you're trying to touch my leg or you're trying to initiate some type of like unnecessary sexual touch I'm turned off and I don't I don't want to carry it any further like especially it's a first date like be real sir but um yeah what I uh and what I'm learning is is like rejection is a thing even for women like it's a thing and not even really rejection it's more like okay the second person that I went out on a date with like he was cool you know he was attractive um I don't know if he found me attractive or not but um but he knew what I looked like before. So this wasn't like a blind date or anything like that. So um, when I did meet up with him, it was like a different vibe. Like, and we sat there and like the conversation just felt like it was forced. So it just, it wasn't a fun uh, date. It wasn't a fun situation to be in. Uh, I can just remember like looking at my watch like mm, kind of ready to go it's getting kind of late and um I wasn't feeling to him and I'm sure that I can tell that he wasn't feeling me but I didn't get offended I didn't get offended by that you know it was kind of like a mutual thing like okay we just don't click and that's there's nothing wrong with that like you're gonna run across some people that you just don't click with and it just won't you know pan out how you think so and that's okay you know so I guess we just kind of ghosted each other like I never heard from him and he never heard from me and it was just like a you know like a mutual feeling I think that we both knew that by the end of the date like this wasn't gonna work so um like I said I didn't hear from him he didn't hear from me um so as of right now I am talking to four guys and and I know this might sound weird or crazy to say but I kind of rank them a little bit like in in like in certain categories like the more I'm learning about each one I rank them now I have two that's in the lead so far and uh he's really nice um, he's fairly busy, which is understandable. Um, he's a little older, a little older than me. He's in his forties, like mid forties. Um, he's attractive. Uh, he's dark skin. He's tall, uh, very different from what I'm used to dating. He has hair. So, um, very different from what I'm used to dating. And, uh, he's really nice. He's funny. Um, and he seems to have a great career. Uh, the guy that is in second is younger and um, he also has some things going on for himself too which is very impressive for him to be so young so it's um you know whoever I hear from first whoever calls me first whoever texts me first that's who I'm you know and I try to you know give everybody equal you know opportunity and time you know, but my time is limited too. You know, I got kids running around here and I got to care for it. I got to work and I got to do this. And I got to do that. So it's very difficult, but I'm trying to find the balance in doing those things. But, um, it's been pretty cool. I, um, I am supposed to be 
going out. Supposed to be going out Thursday, this Thursday, uh, with one of them. And um, hopefully we can click and like have a good time. And you guys, I'm using my old palette, my old Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I used to love this palette so freaking much, man. So much. But yeah, we're supposed to be getting together Thursday to go and do something. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet because he's leaving it up to me to decide. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it because, you know, it's Tuesday. But, um, yeah, like, and they're all making equal effort, you know, to get to know me. So, I find that to be really cool. Um, I'm making that same effort to get to know everybody. And you know what? And I know the last video that I made, I said that I don't see how people date so many people at the same time. But it's it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Like, especially if you're interested in the person. Like, it's very easy to um, remember certain important things about them. Go on the ends here. I really want, and this is off subject. I really want to go through my stuff and just kind of clear it out and buy new stuff, especially eyeshadows. Because I do know that some of this stuff, a lot, a majority of makeup, all makeup has an expiration date. And I really need to go through and look and see what's expired and go ahead and get rid of it. Because I'm just cluttering my own space. So I really need to go through and clear it out so I can see what I can bring in. Because I said I wasn't going to buy nothing else until... I got rid of some things. All right, so getting back on subject. So, um, like I said, with um, you know, with dating multiple people, like it's not as hard as I thought it would be. And um, as long I feel like as long as you're upfront and honest, like you shouldn't have any major issues or whatnot. But it's been really fun. I recommend all ladies and men, you know, and this is just as long as you're being truthful. You know, talk, date them all. Date them all. Because you just never know what you like. Or, you know, what interest, what, what could spark your interest. So, date them all. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to go in. And I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer. And I have it in the shade 12. And I haven't used this concealer in so long. It's so, it's kind of runny. I remember when I first started using Juvia's Place I'm like, oh, this is so great. This is so wonderful. And now, I don't know. I'm really not feeling that way anymore. I really did. Um, I used to love their foundation, though. And I, I'm still a diehard fan of their blushes and their, um, their bronze palettes. But, and even their... Um, lip shades but I don't think I care too much for the concealer anymore and the uh foundation only because I just feel like it's kind of like not like kind of runny like the consistency and it doesn't last like this after a few hours it looks horrible so I don't even know why I'm using it today but since I got it on my face I'm gonna go ahead and use it But yeah, and another thing too, when dating, like you have to have boundaries, right? With any, any encounters with people, you have to have boundaries, whether it's relationships, whether it's, um, a, a love interest, whatever you have to have boundaries. So I don't talk to people after a certain time of night. You can't call me after a certain time of night. You're not going to get through anyway, because my phone's on do not disturb after a certain time automatically. So, you know, cause I'm a first shifter. So you're not going to get through, but, um, the people that I'm talking to, they have enough respect to know that anyway. So I haven't really had an issue with, um, uh, you know, people were, people respecting that boundary. So it's been cool. Um, I'm really proud of myself though. Like I'm making gains here. Like just this, um. I feel like I'm coming into my own. Like, I remember I was talking about going somewhere by myself. 
and sitting down and eating and I finally did that last Friday on my day off I took myself out on a date alone and it was everything I felt when I left that restaurant I felt so and this might be so small to so many people but I felt so proud of myself because I did something that I never thought I'd do which is take myself out by myself man and it was very fulfilling I sat there and I went to Red Lobster and you know Red Lobster it's not my absolute favorite but it was right in the area so I just went ahead and stopped there went sat at the bar um I ordered me a little drink I had a Tito's lemonade Tito's strawberry lemonade that's what I had and it was pretty tasty um I had some lobster bisque soup and salad and um that was pretty much it like I enjoyed myself I enjoyed sitting there and I felt so good and I felt so independent while sitting there so it was great but um I just I feel like I'm in this this sense of like just being by myself and it's okay like I'm excited for it okay, I'm gonna go in and contour and I really need another matchstick I don't know when I'm gonna pick another one up I haven't been to Ulta in a minute to purchase anything I did go well you know what I'm lying I went and it didn't cross my mind to pick me up another matchstick while I was there. But I tell you guys what I did get while I was there. Um, I saw that they had a lot of different stuff on display. That was new. And um, what I did get, what did I go in there for? I can't remember what I went in there for. I think I went in there for a specific thing. And I ended up leaving with two things. And one, which was this Morphe blush. And we'll get into this in a minute. Um, oh, and an eyebrow pencil. Because I was out of my uh, favorite morphe eyebrow pencil so that's what i went in there to get and i was also going in there to smell the new jimmy choo forever perfume and i didn't end up liking it like i was disappointed not even really disappointed because it did smell good but it just it wasn't what i was expecting like the jimmy choo i want you perfume is my absolute favorite hands down so I just knew that I would like this new one that they came out with. But it ended up smelling a lot sweeter. And I don't really like sweet. Sweet is okay sometimes. But I wouldn't just go out of my way to purchase a sweet perfume. Like I'm, you know. It was, it was, it was, it was okay. But I didn't want it. I didn't purchase it. But I will be repurchasing um, the original version. blend in my nose contour but yeah I've been having so much fun and for the first time in my life this is like the first time in my life that I haven't had anybody to tell all of my fun adventurous stories to like I um I haven't been really close with my friends um, I haven't seen anybody I haven't really talked to anybody not that I'm being funny or anything but I just I just feel so withdrawn from people right now and I don't even know why but maybe it's helping me to elevate where I need to be at right now in my life so I don't know I hope nobody's taking it personal you know because I love and care about everybody but like right now I just feel like it's just really about me at this point in my life and I'm not trying to sound selfish or anything or like I'm just more important than what I am but I don't know I just feel like right now this is like a, a I don't want to say lonely season, but more like a alone season in my life. And I wonder if anybody else feeling like that. Or maybe it's just me. All right, so I am going to move on to my foundation. And today's foundation I'm using is the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour. Yeah, 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. I have it in the color chestnut. I don't believe I have reviewed this here on my channel, but I've had it. I uh, bought it a few months ago. I love Born This Way foundation. I have the original. And um, I don't know how this is going. 
work out for me but we're going to test it out and see looks a little orange there you know because the other formula looks it gives skin like uh, that's why I love it so much because it looks like natural skin I don't know how to feel about this shade though and I wear mahogany in the original formula and then I also buy their concealers and I have chestnut concealer but uh, yeah it just seemed like it's different what is that what that is but to me yeah I don't know I feel like it's almost blending in with my concealer like I don't know I'm gonna keep going with it and see how the outcome is going look I'm a little nervous though alright so I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer and I'm using the Bobbi Brown loose powder and this is in the shade soft honey so I'm gonna use a little bit of that to set these areas yeah and this isn't a super bright setting powder so I don't know if that's gonna hurt or help my situation here that I have going on but But yeah, another thing that I've realized about myself is is that um and this and I can I can say that the last two relationships that I were in, they have contributed so much to uh how I conduct myself in the dating world. Like they both showed me or taught me how to know what to look for. Um, what I'm willing to accept what I'm not willing to accept and deal with so I thank them I really do cause honey when I tell you like the my vetting process is totally different than what it used to be I feel like I'm using a lot okay that should do it um yeah that my vetting process is totally different than what it used to be like i will cut somebody off it is taken for like the least little not i don't want to say the least little thing but i will cut them off if i feel like uh they're playing games or i feel like you know my spider senses are tingling and telling me that they already have somebody if i get that feeling you gone you ain't got to worry about it if I feel like um and I know I get that you know everybody is busy you know I'm busy everybody is busy but if you're if I shoot you a text and you're not replying to that text until like a day later you ain't got to worry about me because I that's that situation is dead for me all right guys so now we're going to move on to my blush to add a little color to my face and like i was saying earlier this uh, new blush is from morphe it is the juicy secret sculpting powder blush and i i don't think it has the color on here is this this isn't the box that it came in so i don't know the color but um it's like a pink type um mauvey color and it's really pigmented so i don't really i just tap the brush just a little bit to get some product and yeah because man very pigmented and i want to say i paid like 12 dollars for it which is um 
a pretty decent price especially with the pigmentation that it gives off so. all right going in i'm gonna highlight just a little bit too much on my forehead and have to blend that in good yeah, and for my lip color I'm going to go ahead and use this NYX butter gloss and this is in the shade praline it's like a Mauve pink. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face, and I'm using my e.l.f. Stay All Night Mist. All right, guys, and I'm gonna apply my lashes, and I will be right back. Alrighty, guys, so I went ahead and applied my lashes. Uh, I am getting ready to head on out of here. If you guys enjoyed my video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one.